Okay, so the first step is to just spin up a quick React app, and the way that we're going to do that is by using Create React app by Facebook. Create React app, excuse me, by Facebook, and it's just going to set up a React app all configured, Webpack all set up, etc. So we're going to call it Star Friends. And this is going to load up and spin us up a quick app. And we'll wait till this is done. Okay, so our app is built, and we've got a couple components in our thing and obviously when you're building a react app it's always good to plan what you're going to do so we've got our main component which is like a, the whole app right and then our second component if you can picture it is just this list of characters that's getting rendered so each one of these would be a component right and then our third component is just basically this box of um, of information that's nested within each one of the in our case we're just making this app about each one of the characters in Star Wars you can do it about whatever you can make it about each planet or something we're gonna just do uh, the characters so you got your big app and then each one of the characters and then the info component that's nested inside of it so those are our components um, let's go ahead and get started on actually building it so let's check out the create react app we can go CD star friends and vim into it and for our purposes, we're just going to be using um, this main app.js as our starting point. So what we can do is we can get rid of all this stuff because we uh, really don't need any of this. So we'll say, actually, you know what? Let me just I'll leave the app in there and we'll delete that. And uh, what we can do here is create a constructor right off the bat. Or actually, let me get rid of this. We can create a constructor here because we are going to be needing a state, app state, not component state. So we'll say super props, just some React boilerplate that you always got to put in. So this dot state, and our state is a list of people, right? At first, this is going to be empty, and then when the information comes back from the API, then we're gonna, you know, we're gonna populate our state with this data that's getting returned. So we'll say this dot state is going to be an object. Um, that is first let's go ahead and make this an empty array okay there's nothing in it for now until we make the uh, Ajax request so what we can probably do now is go ahead and get um, Axios so let's do npm install Axios whoops that's not right npm install so we can save it to our package.json and um, okay let me pause this okay so now we have Axios and we can actually make Ajax request so let's actually launch this app so you can see what it looks like at the moment it's gonna look terrible right because you know we don't have anything so PM start okay so here's what it looks like right now so we'll look at what we have basically nothing there's nothing on the app so you know what let's take like a minute and uh, make it look a little prettier so uh, there's a couple things we can do we can basically uh, give it bootstrap first of all so we're gonna go to um, public and open up index HTML and let's put bootstrap in here let me get rid of all this stuff call this whatever you want let's call this star friends and um, let's just add some uh, basic things so it doesn't look like totally empty like it does right now okay so Here's some basic stuff that I added. I actually paused the video and just did this because basic CSS stuff. So go into Bootstrap and get the style sheet um, or the uh, the link to the CDN and add that in there into the head. And after that, I just added some basic Bootstrap. I added a jumbotron and a container. So there's padding or there's margin on the left and the right, and that's basically it. Okay, so this isn't important. Uh, go ahead and make it look however you want. So I'm going to quit out of this. And let's see what it looks like now. So here you go. Um, basic bootstrap, right? You got a jumbotron and then our content's going to go here. Okay, so now we know that we're going to need to make requests to this API, uh, swapi.co slash API, in order to get the information that we want, right? So what we can do is use Axios we've already installed it and let's go ahead and create a function that's going to get that data that we need so right under our constructor here excuse me we'll say get people let's just call it that you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it get people 
get characters, you know, get uh, info, call it whatever you want. So we'll say uh, return, and this is gonna use Axios, which has a which can make get requests, and the URL is um, HTTP swappy. So let's put that in there, and we're gonna want people, okay? Because that's the endpoint, right? For all the uh, characters. So let's see if this works. See, so people gives us account of all the um, of all the or gives us information about all the characters <coughs> that are that are in the API. So we're gonna want to access the results key. Okay, so keep that in mind. So we're gonna make a request there, and this is gonna return a promise. So we're gonna have to use whoops. We're gonna have to use dot then dot then. So we'll say dot then. And we can use an arrow function here. Let's just say resp or response to make it more clear. And I got a typo here. Use an arrow function. And after this, well, for the sake of demonstrating what this is giving us back, let's just um, console log. So we'll say console log uh, response. And we're going to have to say dot data to access it in results. So let's see what we get back here. Okay, we've got a error because Axios is not defined. That's probably because we didn't import Axios. So let's do that. We'll have to say um, import Axios from Axios. Okay, let's see if that works without refreshing. Okay, cool. So our app still works. Uh, but we're not getting anything console logged here. So that's because we haven't um, called this function when the component mounts. So we're going to use a component lifecycle method in a second called component did mount and um, have it returned here. Woo! Woo!